Hello, hello, hello. Thank y'all for stopping back by. Um, I'm going to go over the items that I've put out for the pre-op diet. We're starting tomorrow for day one of 21. We're going to do it for three weeks. And um, I've just set out a couple of items that we'll be eating for the next few days. Um, a majority have been put put up in the cabinets and in the refrigerator and stuff, but I did sit out a few different things to just have a visual aid of what I'm going to be using. Well, my husband and I, what we're going to be using. Um, so just stick by. Um, for the first two weeks, we'll be allowed to have four ounces of chicken, ham, or turkey um, a day, just four ounces a day of one of those meats. In the last week, you can't have that at all. Um, you can boil it bake it or broil it. I think you can broil it. You just cannot have any fried foods. No fried foods. So the first thing we're going to look at, I have some chicken breast. Um, that will be for the four ounces we can have for the two weeks. I have some bouillon cubes. Now this is honestly, I feel like I'm just going to use this for when we get on the airplane because typically you're not going to be able to find a lot of chicken broth in the airport or um available on the plane but you can take a few cubes and make your own just ask for hot water once you get on the plane I have sugar-free pudding I have vanilla and chocolate I know you can buy the instant like where you make your own but I just for me I feel like just having these pick up ready to go is the best for me I'm constantly on the go typically headed to work <laughs> um, I saw someone suggest uh, cream of tartar um, to assist with headaches um, your body is going to be detoxing from the typical sugars and the other bad things that you typically put in your body so that can cause hangriness and also headaches and um, I saw someone say that can help with headaches you use this and you mix it with so many ounces of water. I can't remember the exact amount. But you mix it with warm water and drink it and it'll help with headaches. I also heard that you can use salt right under the tongue. Uh, like a pinch of salt. Put it right under your tongue and it'll help alleviate. Just let it dissolve and it'll help alleviate a headache. Got some unsalted beef broth. Fabulous Walmart brand. I'm a Walmart brand type of gal. I got chicken broth, um, reduced sodium. I don't know if I just couldn't find unsalted, but this is what I got. Unsalted, uh, reduced sodium chicken broth, Walmart brand. I got some G2, I don't know if you can see that. G2, called Glacier Freeze um, Gatorade. And I also got the red flavor. Uh, I'm not sure of the specific name for it, but it's the red kind. Got some um, sugar free jello. And I got these, I think they were like $2 and some change for a 12 pack. I have a few packs of these. Got Chobani. I like, again, the convenient just pick up as you go, run out the door with it. Uh, non fat, plain Greek yogurt. Um, you can't have any flavored Greek yogurt, but. I've heard several people say you can use the sugar-free, like how you can put this in your water. You can also put it in your plain Greek yogurt, and you can also put it in uh, your cottage cheese to help have it some, give it some flavor. And those are allowed. This has to be no sugar, and you're good to go. This has no sugar and five calories per pack. And I have all kinds of those, all kinds of different flavors to just have some variety. Um, boring will be the enemy. So I'm trying to keep it a lot of variety. Um, I got these sugar-free popsicles. These were really cheap. They were like $2 for 12 I got about two packs of these. Plan on attempting to drink three to four or more bottles of water. Got a huge case at Walmart. How many were in it? I think it's like, it's a 40 pack, I believe. And it was only $3, so you can't beat that. Got some 
applesauce, no sugar added. Light applesauce. Again, I like the little packs you can just pick up and go. Um, I have Equate brand. It has 30 grams of sugar. Oh, Lord. 30 grams of protein. One gram of sugar per uh, bottle. This is a four pack. I bought it at Walmart for about $5 of vanilla. I have also have Equate chocolate. I also um, bought some Premier not Premier, but uh, Muscle Milk brand um, chocolate and vanilla. They only have 25 grams per bottle, but again, I'm just trying a few different things. And if I don't like it, I can exchange it and try something different. have a cottage cheese, fat-free. Um, I don't know if they make these where you can just pick up a little pack and go. Uh, I didn't personally see any, so that's why I got the larger just container. I'll just work with what I got. Got my decaf coffee. I am a coffee woman. I love coffee. Um, I don't drink it all day long, but I like to have a cup or two during the morning time. So I got my decaf because I don't think I'll necessarily just miss the caffeine. I say that, but I... We'll see. <laughs> um, but I'll still say hi to Lincoln. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think I'll just like the habit of still having something warm and amazing smelling in the mornings. Um, I don't know if I would want to just go completely without coffee. We'll see. But I also have fat-free um, vanilla fav vanilla flavored oh it's not vanilla i picked up the wrong one i wanted vanilla this is the original so hopefully it doesn't taste too bad but if not i can just stop and get vanilla a uh, flavor creamer for my coffee later on i have some apple juice no sugar added that was one of the things you could have and i believe i've made it through my list I start tomorrow morning. Um, what I plan on eating for tomorrow morning is, uh, of course, a protein shake. I'll probably put a vanilla protein shake in my coffee. To um, I might just substitute that for a creamer for tomorrow and just have it that way. Um, I plan on taking a Gatorade G2, three or four bottles of water, and a flavor to put in the water, a Jello. In a pudding. That's what I plan on taking tomorrow. So, well, for breakfast anyway. Well, throughout, you know, my job, have an eight hour shift, um, 7 a.m. to 3. So, throughout that course of time, that's what I plan on eating. And another protein shake. So, as soon, like when I wake up, I'll have a protein shake around lunchtime, 12 to 2 ish, around that area. I'll uh, <clears throat> drink a second one for lunch and the other items I listed. Wish us luck. Tomorrow it starts. I would appreciate all the prayers, all of the support to the people who've already done this. Kudos, because I know it's going to be tough. To the people that haven't made it yet, we can do it. Y'all, we got this. We got this. If you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe. Please, I appreciate all the support. If you're already a follower, thank you. I appreciate it. I love all the love. Y'all have a good one. Tomorrow is only a day away.